You're a yeah. big Michael Jackson fan? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, we're very privileged uh, at the Seattle Science Foundation mm -hmm. this morning uh, to have uh, Professor Sankai yeah? uh, all the way from Japan joining mm -hmm. us uh, to talk about some of the exciting things that you've mm -hmm. been doing and uh, the uh, exploding company Cyberdyne. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm Shane Tubbs. I'm the uh, Chief Scientific Officer here. Yeah. And uh, right. we're, uh, again, very happy to have you and uh, your colleague uh, to mm -hmm. visit us today. So yeah. thank you for coming such a long way. Ah, you are welcome. Um, very nice. It's great honor to meet you. Thank well, you. thank you. It's our pleasure. Um, I thought maybe, uh, you know, the audience would like to know some things about your background. Um, before we get into what you do now. Um, so would you mind telling us uh, a little bit about uh, where you grew up in Japan uh, and oh. a little bit about your family? Oh, okay. Yes. When I was a lad, I lived in the uh, west part of Japan, Okayama Prefecture. Okay. And in those days, uh, one day, maybe nine years old, I lo uh, read the U.S. literature books, I, Robot. Mm written by the, uh, Isaac Asimov, and I decided to be a uh, scientist and researcher in the robotic fields. Okay. Yes. And in those days, I had various types of experiments, so the, I'm really was a uh, um, science boy and so on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Did you have brothers and sisters growing up? So the, I have one brother. Okay. So, yes. A young, younger one, mm. and he also now I live in the Tsukuba Science City, and this city is specially designed by our government, mm. and my uh, brother also live in this city as okay. a researcher. So the uh, so we are the uh, one. He is one of the best friends of me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're a professor at Tsukuba University in Japan, yes, and that's uh, northeast of Tokyo, yes, maybe an hour yes, or so away, yes, yes. And uh, there you've developed a really uh, world famous uh, mm -hmm. institution mm -hmm. uh, uh, termed Cyberdyne. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you came up with the name and? Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes. So the now okay, mm. I create the new academic frontier fields uh, called cybernics. Mm. Uh, this one is the uh, fused by the uh, fused uh, new fields using the human and um, machine and information systems. Mm. And uh, I call this field cybernics, okay? So the, based on the cybernetics and the mechatronics and informatics, okay? okay. And, uh, dying, meaning the uh, power. Mm. Our devices, robot suit, suit hull, mm. uh, work w uh, now. Uh, these devices are always working, uh, driven by the human's uh, brain nerve signals, mm. and generates a power. Sure. So I combine the cybernics and the dying. So mm. the cyber dying. Interesting. Yes. So you wear, you're a very busy person. You mm -hmm. wear many hats. Uh, mm -hmm. You're a professor at the university there. Yes. You're uh, the founder, the yeah. CEO, and yeah. the president yeah. of Cyberdyne. Yes. Um, your day must be very compact. And mm -hmm. uh, do you have time for teaching uh, at the university or yeah. you only do research? Oh, sorry, uh, okay. Main part is the research, yes. but uh, in the graduate school, mm -hmm. so the a uh, master course and a PhD course, mm -hmm. I have uh, uh, lectures. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And how big is the university? How many students? Oh, uh, students is almost uh, mm, 22,000 students around. Okay. But the si university size is uh, one of the largest. Wow. Yes. Wow. And, so and uh, most of the students are, are the uh, graduate school students. Okay. Yes. So you mentioned uh, that your initial interest in robotics came after you read Isaac Asimov's mm -hmm. yeah. uh, iRobot. Yeah. And that was published maybe in the 50s, 1950s? Uh, yes, yes. But uh, I get this one in uh, 1967, around, I think. So after you read the book, did you ever dream that you would be here today with Cyberdyne? Ah, 
Yes. Well, yes. After that, anyway, the, I spent a lot of time to be a scientist. So the, I had uh, so various types of experiments, mm -hmm. and anyway, even to the uh, and maybe the in the elementary school. Wow. So the uh, I wrote uh, some my dream uh, sentences. Wow. Dream and so the, according to these uh, my dreams, I now. I'm now here. Wow. Yeah. Did you keep the dreams? Yes. Yeah. Mm, yes. This uh, paper is now attached on the, my doors. Oh, that's very nice. Yes, office doors. That's very nice. Yes. Wow. Yes. So uh, Cyberdyne uh, has many applications. Uh, yes. Uh, one application uh, that uh, you're talking about to us today is rehabilitating mm -hmm, people, mm -hmm. patients who have lost function mm -hmm. in their lower extremities. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you see this becoming a widespread application, or is this still in the developmental phase? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, anyway, the uh, current model is the lower half versions, and this one is used for the uh, some kinds of uh, brain nerve disease patients mm. in order to improve or recover their uh, ne neuromuscular function and so on. Mm. Okay. And uh, uh, recently, uh, this the we developed the uh, single joint versions uh, for the uh, knees or mm. the elbows. Okay. And we have the uh, another types of devices uh, for the hand versions. For the hand. Yeah, this one is under developing, but the uh, uh, mechanism is very interesting. So yeah. Okay. So someday I would like to show you. That's exciting. Uh, yes. And anyway, ah, and, and recently we could develop the uh, lumbar support versions. Mm. So these devices will be used for the nursing care support and labor support. And mm. also these devices will be used for the medical fields, so for, the, uh, back, for treating the back pain and so on. That's yes. very interesting. Yes. Um, so you're here at the um, Seattle uh, Science Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, we're housed within the Swedish hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you're... Uh, collaborating with our uh, uh, colleagues and faculty and yeah. rehabilitation medicine, neurosurgery. Mm -hmm. um, so there's lots of medical application. Um, could you tell the viewers a little bit about non-medical application of uh, uh, non-medical. Mm -hmm. Okay. Non-medical version is, uh, I just explained about the labor support versions. And also we have the uh, transporter robots with the artificial intelligences mm. and the sensing de systems. Mm. These types of devices, robots, uh, make a, uh, can make a maps by itself. Wow. And we've already uh, have the uh, cleaning robot mm. in order to clean the floors. Oh, wow. Uh, yes. And can I borrow one of those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, another one is the uh, working support uh, robots. Mm. So the uh, but uh, this one is the uh, can be changed to the uh, mobile support. Oh, I yes. see. I so see. one one of the mobility lo mo mobility robots, and <laughs> uh, recently now we are trying to create a new uh, production base. So the in this base, uh, I would like to set up the some of the uh, robot devices in order to make a robot. Mm. Okay. Robot. Makes a robot. Mo yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When would you guess that uh, the average consumer would be able to go to the store and buy something like this? Uh, Five, ten years? Oh, yeah. So the currently these devices are now distributing to the uh, professional users and so on. Mm. But uh, in these uh, five years or seven years around, I would like to distribute this one to the individuals. Yes, mm -hmm. step by step, mm -hmm. yes. What do you think the major uh, roadblock is for Cyberdyne, Something, a problem that once you fix the problem, things will explode in your field? Oh, yeah. So now, so the, mm, now we started the, our challenges in Japan and the next uh, the, uh, in European areas, mm -hmm. and the Europeans started. And this year, we would like to uh, expand our challenges in the U.S. I at, see. Yes. At that time, uh, 
partner is very, very important. Mm -hmm. So I'm here. Yes. Yes. Fortunately, I could find a very excellent partners yes. here in Seattle. Well, we're, we're yes. very happy to have you here and hope that we can continue to <laughs> collaborate as partners. Yeah, sure. And, um, meet uh, needs and uh, help distribute uh, yes. your knowledge um, across the, yeah, this country. Yeah, yeah. And finally, I would like to establish the international collaborations and because now currently world, world became very small, yes. at that time this collaboration team is very, very important in order to make or uh, uh, create the futures. Yes. What do you think 50 years from now will look like for Cyberdyne? Oh, Cyberdyne? Yes. Maybe the Cyberdyne will be one of the uh, core companies uh, to solve the um, very difficult uh, social problems, I think. Maybe yeah. two robots having an interview with each other. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Currently, yes. Yeah. One of the, uh, we, uh, someday I'll show you, we already have the master slave systems. Mm. If I wear it, and robot works. And if you wear mm. and the robot works, so the robot can work instead ah, of us. Yeah. Wow, we'll get very lazy then. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you had any uh, um, groups or individuals that are nervous about the robotics and that maybe the robots are taking over like some of the science fiction mm -hmm. movies will illustrate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the collaboration of the, uh, uh, with the uh, Engineering, engineering side and the medical side is very, very important. Yes. Yeah. Yes. To show those people there's application. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. And maybe the even uh, more, uh, okay, in the world, uh, univers uh, one of the examples, okay, university side, mm -hmm. uh, medical and engineering side should be make a uh, um, real relationship. Uh, with our real world. I right. Think. Yes. So I know in some of uh, Isaac Asimov's uh, stories in iRobot that the robot uh, became superior to the uh, the founder, the inventor, uh, yes. and yes. Uh, caused a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. You don't ever see that being a potential issue? Yeah, yeah. So the anyway, the uh, Isaac Asimov's iRobot is one of the, my Bibles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the that one is the uh, because the the keywords of the robotics also uh, created in this uh, book. Mm. And so, okay, one of the important things yes. in the pre prefaces, okay, the main characters, uh, Dr. Calvin, right. okay, yes, he, she, she, she graduated uh, Columbia University 2003, mm. third, mm -hmm. and after that, he, she obtained a PhD degrees 2008. Mm. Yeah. When I read this one uh, almost 50 years ago, okay, I couldn't imagine the futures, mm. but I was there 2008. So the, wow. yeah. Wow. So, yes. And I checked my histor histories. Yeah. So the, I was very surprised. So the, so uh, step by step and gradually uh, robotic was uh, constructing Wow, so almost the, the book is becoming alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in the end of our conversation, mm -hmm. uh, what do you do for fun? What are some hobbies that you have outside of oh, Cyberdyne? My hobby? Yes. Uh, mm, I love to see the uh, movies. Movies? Yes, emotional okay. ones. Emotional ones. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> in daily li life, so the, I always consider something and uh, a uh, little bit intelligent, okay? Yeah. But after that, so the, anyway, the emotional part wish to yes. <laughs> activate. Right, your parietal lobe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's your favorite movie this year? Oh, there are mm, so many. Yeah. But uh, uh, New Cinema Paradise or... Uh, okay. Yeah, or mm, Andrew, you know? Uh, so this one is the... Uh, written by the Isaac Asimov also. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. Yes. So uh, uh, obviously you would like that one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Or uh, the, um, so man. yeah, anyway, there's so many, yeah. So many, yeah. wow. Uh, do you have wife and children? Yes. And uh, do they uh, enjoy your passions? 
I hope so. But uh, so the, my wife is also the medical doctor, and she spent a lot of time oh. to, for uh, for the her researches. I see. And I see. Uh, yeah, and my doctor, uh, my daughter also now uh, following her life. So the, now she is running in a medical school. So okay. Yes. Well, Professor Sankai, yeah. it's a great privilege to be able to talk to you today. Uh -huh. And uh, we're very thankful that you stopped by the Seattle Science Foundation yes. to uh, speak with us and mm -hmm. uh, took time out of your busy schedule. And we look ah. forward to speaking with you the rest mm -hmm. of the day. And uh, thank you very much. Ah, thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.